Hi, everybody. I'm Jerry Brooks. I'm Joanne Nesty. Wilfredo Perez Jr. was at his post outside a children's hospital in Baghdad this past Saturday when a grenade exploded. He was one of three soldiers killed. Four others were wounded. Tonight, flags in Connecticut have been ordered to half staff in memory of the Norwalk native. NBC 30's Annie Rourke is at Norwalk City Hall tonight with the story. Annie? Well, Joanne, this is the third casualty of war that Connecticut has had, but the first since the war supposedly ended three months ago. Now, it seems that tragedy has hit every part of our state, Waterford, Enfield, and now the southwest section here in Norwalk, the latest town to deal with the untimely death of a young soldier. The 1998 ROTC program at Norwalk High School. The future military men and women stand smiling and proud. No clue that in just five short years, one of them, Private First Class Wilfredo Perez Jr., would give his life for his country. We were profoundly shaken and uh, very laden with emotions, I'm sure every family would be, and I'm sure it's extremely difficult right now. Uh, Mayor Alex Knott yeah, met with the mourning family as soon as he heard the terrible like news. Day, yeah. He says this is especially difficult because it's been almost three months since the end of the war. To have this news come when you know, it seems like every day uh, two or three deaths happen and these trickle in and, and have an extraordinary impact on a family uh, as we're trying to stabilize the peace in Iraq. Perez fell victim to what has plagued our servicemen overseas, guerrilla-style warfare. The 67th Armor Regiment 4th Infantry Unit was guarding the Bakuba Children's Hospital in Baghdad on Saturday. A grenade was thrown from a hospital window. Four soldiers were wounded, three killed, including Perez. He was just 24. I'm in shock. I mean, it gets worse and worse over here. I don't know. Folks in Norwalk say it hits a little closer to home when it's one of your own. And now in City Hall, on the wall of war dead, one more name will be added to those who have gone before him. We're all American people, you know, whatever places you come from, you have a family grief and, you know, everybody feels it. They certainly do. Now, the Department of Defense has not yet decided when they will allow Private Perez to return to his family here in Connecticut, so they have not yet made funeral arrangements. But the mayor tells NBC 30 that the city would like to hold some kind of public service to thank his family for their sacrifice. We're live in Norwalk, Annie Rourke, NBC 30, Connecticut News. And as Annie mentioned, Perez is the third Connecticut soldier killed in action in Iraq. Marine Corporal Kemapum Chinawang of Waterford and Marine Gunnery Sergeant Philip Jordan of Enfield, pictured here there with his son, were both.